What is a landing page? I'm glad you asked. So a landing page, technically, it can really be any page on your website because all the pages that bring you traffic are pages where people land, right? So they're landing pages. Why don't we ask Google? Landing page, boom. Here you have it, landing page, a web page which serves as an entry point for a website or a particular section of the website. So according to this definition, any page on the website that gets traffic from the outside, from the web, it's a landing page. But that's not what we mean when we say landing page. A landing page is a page that has to perform a conversion. It's a page that must have a specific intent. Now, a conversion can be really anything. People signing up for your service, people buying a product, people leaving you an email. So that's what we call a conversion. The job of a landing page is to make this conversion happen. So what do we want in a landing page? We want it to be clear. Let's say I'm asking the user to leave me an email in exchange for something. Maybe I want to give them a checklist, right? So my landing page has to pitch my intention. In the landing page, I must have, of course, a call to action. A call to action usually is a button. And on the button you state, what is that the user is getting if the button get pressed, right? So say that you want to get an email from the user the landing page has to be clear on what is that the user is getting in exchange for a email. Okay, so it has to be clear. There must be only one intended uh, purpose for the page, which is exactly giving that thing to the user and getting the email. And there must be no distraction because in order for that conversion to happen, in order for the exchange to happen, the user must not be confused, okay? So you want to remove any possible link, any possible button, anything, but that call to action button that has to be repeated multiple times on the page, okay? So these are just two things. One, make it specific and pitch what is that you are going, what is that has to happen, what you want the user to do, and put the call to action, removing every other thing, okay? So now I want to show you the best example I've ever seen of landing page. Look at this, so Neil Patel website here. I think this version of the home page came something like last week. And if you see, it starts like this, there is this big button here, which is the call to action. And then if you scroll down, there is nothing, nothing you can click. You see, these are not links. There is, again, call to action. And then the, the menu of this page, and again, this is the home page. This is the, the first page on the website. The menu is on the very bottom on, of the page. So basically what uh, Neil did, he converted his entire website, his home page, in a huge landing page. So all the traffic that is coming to his website, we are talking millions of people every month, I believe, it's going here and everybody's gonna see this call to action here. So this is beautifully done. And if you need to take an example, take example from here. So I will show you one of my pages to make you understand that you can adopt this concept not only on the pages that are making for selling something or getting the email, but you can really apply this on any page where you want the user to do something specific. So basically you can build very good funnels if you use this logic. Now, let's go here. This is the result of one assessment I have, my marketing and sales process assessment. And after taking the assessment, you come on this page. And in this page, what, what I want you to do, yes, I'm giving you the results of the assessment. I want you to read, I want you to get some value out of this, but what I want you to do, I want you to download this thing. So here there is a button, which I should rename download. Now it's optimized, it 
its previous version. So here should be download because what I want you to do, I want you to click this button to download this page and save it in your email, right? So if you click here, this opens and I will ask you the email in exchange for this report on your email so that you can go back to it okay and if you look on this page there is basically no link whatsoever except for this call to action that i repeat several times okay there is actually this button here with share because i'm also interested in people sharing this thing but you see there are two things i want people to do and these two buttons on the page okay and this is not a landing page in the sense that people come from the web on this page. No, this is the last page of a test, which is 21 questions. So technically speaking, the landing page is 21 pages far from this. But still, the layout of this page is the same as a landing page. You understand? So wrapping up. The landing page is a page where you want the user to perform an action. It has to have intent and to pitch what action you want to happen, what is the value that the user is getting out of it, why it's important, and what do you want in exchange. And the second thing is that you must have one clear call to action, which is repeated multiple times. And if you want to add the third condition, if you want to separate these two, you need to get rid of any link, any button, which is not related to the primary purpose of the landing page, okay? Then keep in mind that you can use this concept on any page of your website when you want to build up a funnel leading the user to take subsequent actions. So this is how you build a very clear website architecture. If every page of the website as a specific purpose. Thinking landing pages always. That's a very good approach if you want your website to convert. Okay, I guess that's it for this video. I'll see you at the next one. Ciao.